Greetings to all my brothers and sisters of King's Chapel, United Pentecostal Church of Jamaica, Montego Bay. This is the day that the Lord had made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Truly, God has been and is so good to us. We thank him for health and strength. We thank him for reminding us that he is in control of our lives. He is in control of this universe. Yes, we are living in challenging times. Never has we seen anything like this in our entire world. For many, it is frightening. For many, it's just unbelievable. But thanks be to God that we, the redeemed, we who have been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, received his spirit and is living a life acceptable to him. We are not surprised or we should not be surprised because the Bible did let us know that perilous times will be coming and the things will be happening around us to point us to the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are stricken today by this corona virus that has affected the entire seven continents of this world where leaders are scoring and uh, being frightened and not knowing what to do cannot find a remedy for this virus. We as Christians, as children of God, we know that there is a God. We have experienced Him. We have been through situations and God has come through for us. And so without a doubt in our minds, in our hearts, we know that the God whom we serve is in control. There are all over 12,000 persons that have died. And there are many thousands that are affected. And the prediction is that many more, many more will be affected by this virus. And so we find today virtually the entire world has been locked down, has been closed as it were. And leaders are appealing to people to stay home, to avoid the spread of this virus. We at the church are praying. And Sunday pass, a few members came out the church, and we did have a very good time of prayer 
and seeking God. I left the church building about 12 noon and Sunday the 22nd. I drove down in the town of Montego Bay just to see what things were like. And to my surprise, the streets were virtually empty. People were just locked away. Now, brethren and friends, we don't know what the future holds. We don't know the day nor the hour when the Lord is going to come. He said, no man knows. And there has been and cannot be any predictions. Many predicted and realized that their predictions didn't come true. But we know that is coming again. And it's our duty and responsibility to pray, to be strong, to be faithful, and to let people know that there is a God and He is in control. And that there is an eternity. An eternity has absolutely no ending. And so it is imperative for us to preach the gospel. Not just to preach the gospel, but to live a life of example. A life that depicts Christ. A life that people would want to adopt and want to be like us. And so I challenge you today as we go through this to lift your faith and to encourage someone to turn their lives over to God. Joel chapter 2 and verses 12 to 17 says, Therefore also now, saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repented him of the evil. Who know it? If he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the, the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch of the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the Eden should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God. Surely today it's time to pray. It's time to weep. It is time to call upon God. No time to be speculating. No time to be wondering. It's time to pray. When the Lord's patience come to an end, he sends trials and difficulties, hoping they will cause individual to turn into repentance.
repentance. Truly, our God is a merciful God. His desire is for none to perish, but for all to come to repentance and live. The Lord calls on people to repent in the process of describing the great and terrible day of the Lord. The prophet paused to swing wide the door to the mercy of God. God's people were not left without a way of escape. As Joel told them to make the Lord to make the Lord be jealous for his hand and pity his people. Joel 1 verse 18. Despite the prophet's message of impending doom, it was not too late for Judah to cry out to God in repentance. Joel 2 16 and 17 says, Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, spare thy people, O Lord, as ministers, as members of the body of Christ. It's time for us to weep between the porch, with the altar. It's time for us to cry out to God. It's not time for us now to fear. It's not time for us now to, to give up. But it's time for us, church of God, ministers of God, people of God, put food aside for a time and let us get down and cry out to God, spend some time in prayer. Praise God. Weep and cry out to God. Call out to God because we need help now. Jamaica is a small island, small population, and we can be wiped out within no time but today God is saying to us that we need to turn in the New Testament Paul echoed these concerns he rebuked the person who disregards the goodness and forbearance of God not knowing or caring that these attributes should lead him to repentance. Instead, he presumed upon God's long-suffering and continue in his wicked ways. Romans 2 and verse 4 When the Lord's patience come to an end, he sends trial and difficulties hoping that people will turn. 2 Peter 3 and verse 9, it tells us, and listen carefully as I read this verse to you. It states clearly, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us one, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and live Jamaica we need to repent world seven continents we need to repent it's repentance time it's time to cry out to God he is a merciful God he is slow slow to punish us is warning us this is a warning to us Christians unsaved this disease did not escape the Christians 
God is a merciful God and he, he loves everybody, saved and unsaved. But there's coming a day when he's going to pay every man according as his work. Every man will be paid equal for what he, he has done. And I'm appealing to you today as we look and as we see in our world the devastation. I listened to a man today from Italy speaking about his son on his dying bed and how they tried their best to help him. He has a personal nurse that was around him 24 hours. He got all the support that was needed. But they watched him as he breathed. The last breath couldn't help him. The Bible tells us clearly, what shall it profit a man? And this is my favorite verse. What should it profit a man if he, if he gained his whole world and lose his one soul? It states, what should a man give in exchange for his soul? Money can't help. We can have our money, but nothing to purchase with it. We need Jesus now. I'm appealing to you all. We need Jesus now. And not because we are going through a crisis. Because many of you, many of us, we cry out to God we hear the Prime Minister, the leaders of this world saying, let us pray. And as soon as the disaster leaves, we forget. We put prayer aside and do what we feel like doing. But I'm saying there's coming a day when it will be F-I-N-A-L final. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm appealing to all of us, saved and unsaved, to take this opportunity now to repent of your sins. in the only name the only saving name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost God bless you God bless you don't stop praying don't stop seeking after God come on let's wake up the Lord loves you St. John 3 and verse 16.